So we're going to show you how to create an interactive world map with information for different countries, different continents. So in Keynote, I'm going to start with a presentation. I don't really want to choose a wide presentation because it's an information presentation. I want a lot of space there. So what I'm going to do is click on the three dots at the very top and click on Standard. So that gives me more space to work. So as always, I'm just going to choose a white background and delete all these and I can add information later if I want to. So delete. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add a few slides and I'm going to add just uh, four for now so I can show you uh, a few tricks. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in a shape and I'm going to go to places and then I'm going to choose the wide world map. Ah, sorry, not the wide world map, the standard world map. So I'm going to bring this all the way out so it takes up most of my screen and that's going to be like my home page. Now I can easily change the colors of that if I want to. I can make it blue or green. Now I want to focus on Australia. So I want someone to be able to tap on Australia and find out more information for that continent or country. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into here and then I'm actually going to zoom this out as far as I can so Australia comes up nice and big. And the reason I'm using the whole world map and not just an Australia shape is because I want to put an effect on there. So now it looks like that when someone zooms in. So what I'm going to do is now click on the slide and I'm going to transition the slide to a magic move. So if I click on magic move and then that will zoom in nicely like that. Done. So I'm going to say cancel, not duplicate that. So done. So now when I push play, that will zoom in. I can do the exact same thing and go copy, paste it into here, and then I can choose a different continent. So if I want to go into South America, I can zoom in on South America like that, and that will magic move nicely. So from here, I want to be able to go to Australia or South America. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another shape, which is just a basic circle like this. And let's change the color to red and maybe uh, let's change the opacity down. So it looks like a button that I can tap. So I'm going to put that over Australia and I'm going to copy it and paste it over South America. Now I want to give this a link. So I'm going to link this to slide. So link it to slide, not a web page. Link to slide two, because that's Australia. Done. This one, I want to say link to slide three. So link to slide three, like that. Now when I'm in Australia, I want to be able to find out more information or I want to go back to the home. So to find more information, I can simply just duplicate this slide. So copy paste and then I can add any information that I want into here so I can add photos or text about Australia I can place them around like this um, I can have fun with that slide and just give whatever information that I need to like around like this here but I do want to be able to go back to the world map if I want to so simply I'm going to add a shape and the shape I'm going to search for is house because house is a good indication of always going back home. So that's going to go in there. I don't like the black being so dark, so I'm going to put opacity on it. And that is always going to link back to slide one. So link to slide one. And I can always copy and paste that into every single one of my slides so I can always go home. So let's see if that works. So I'm gonna go back to start, push play. If I tap on Australia, that opens up. If I want to go to home, oh, I haven't done a magic move, so let's do a magic move. I'm going to go back to these slides here, and I'm going to give that a transition, add transition, magic move. Do it for all the slides. I don't want to duplicate it because I've already got one. Doesn't matter what slide we're in, I want to be able to magic move it. Like this. And then let's magic move. I don't need to duplicate that. Let's magic move South America. Magic move. I don't need to duplicate it because I've already got it. And done. So the last thing I want in here is a information page. So I want to go back to text. 
and I want to be able to say more information like this and I want to give that a link to slide 3 so link to slide 3 now let's give it a quick test I push play Australia it zooms in nicely more information they pop up I can go back home it's a nice magic move go to South America it pops up go back to home now the last thing I want to do is make sure that someone doesn't click anywhere and it goes to the next slide. So I go to the three dots at the top. I can go down to where it says settings. I want to say presentation type and say links only. So now with links only, if I push play and I tap anywhere, I'm not going to be able to move. I can only move if I tap on a link. But this means that you have to have a link on every single page. So that's how you make an interactive map with information on Keynote. Good luck and have fun and be super creative.